Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this series, we will discuss about two important script functions, previous and peak. These functions are part of interrecord functions in click and they can be used in click view and click sense both. But we can only use them in click script and we cannot use them in click front end. Means we cannot use them in click object inside any chart or inside any table. These functions are used to get previously loaded rows from click table. There is a slight difference between these two functions. Previous functions work on the input of the load statement while pick function works on the output of the load statement. What is the difference between input of load statement and output of the load statement? We will see this by example. I will explain how and where we can use these functions by real time example and I will also show you the difference between these two functions. Because these functions are regularly getting used and initially they are tricky to handle. So I have divided these videos in three parts. In first part, I will show you the previous function and its use case. In second part, I will show you pick function and in a third part, I will show you real time examples. So first we will understand previous function. This is the syntax of previous function. Previous function is only taking one parameter and this parameter can either be a field or an expression. We can also use nested expression here means nested previous function. So previous inside previous. I will show you this by example. So what previous function is doing? Previous function finds the value of your field or expression based on the input record and then it will give us the result. It is not depends on whatever where clause you have used. This looks little bit confusing but when I will show you the example you will understand what exactly the previous function is doing. It is also possible that we can refer a field using the previous function which is not even loaded in a click. Now we will see previous function by examples. This is the data we are going to use for the previous function example. We have date starting from 1st of July 2022 to 20th of July 2022 and we have sales with respect to each date. I am going to load this in a click application. So I have loaded this data here and at the front end I have created a table with date and sales. I will also add here weekday. So I can say weekday date as weekday. I am not going to take weekday from excel file. I am creating my own here. And I am going to add weekday here as well. So first of all, previous function can only be used at backend. So if I will try to use here previous function, if I will say here previous sales is not going to work. You can see previous is not even considered as function here by click. Whatever function, if you use some here, you can see the color of the function. It is blue color. So if I am using previous here, it is not recognized as function at the click front end. So it's not going to work. That means if I will use here previous sales, I should get null. Now I'm going to use previous function here. So I will say previous sales as previous sales. And I will say previous day sales. I am loading this application and at the front end I will add this previous day sales and I am going to remove this previous sales. So now you can see that we are getting sales of previous row. So for the 2nd of July 2022 the previous row is 1st of July 2022 that means 120. So here we are getting previous sales as previous row sales which is 120. So for 10th of July the previous row is 9th of July so that is 50. So we are getting here 50. So the for the very first row 1st of July 2022 we don't have any previous row. So here we are getting null. We can use here if statement if we want to replace this null by zeros. I can say if row number equal to 1 then 0 
otherwise previous sales. And if I will load this, then the very first row will get 0 and for the remaining of the rows, we will get previous value. We can even get sales, previous day sales, if even though we are not using this sales. So say I am removing sales from this data load and when I am loading the application, I am I'm still getting previous day sales because as mentioned previous function depends on the input of the table. So input of the table means this is the input of the table and whatever we are getting at the front end this is the output of the table. So input and output means I will give you one more example. So I am, I am adding this sales back here. I will also add sales here and if I will use here something like this. So if I will say here where not match weekday, Saturday and Sunday. So what I am doing here is I am not considering data means I am not trying to get the data of weekends. So when I load this application, we will only get data from Monday to Friday. So let's analyze the final result. I will also keep this original data file here so that we can compare much better way. So first of all, first July is Friday and we are getting 120 but it is the first row so we are getting 0 here. Now directly we are moving to 4th of July because we haven't loaded data of Saturday and Sunday which is I have highlighted by yellow color. So even though we haven't considered data as an output, we are still getting previous day records for 4th of July as 130. You can see here we are getting 130 because 130 is actual sales for Sunday 3rd of July. So what I mean to say here is even though this Saturday and Sunday is not part of our output table, we are still getting 130 as previous sales because previous function is depends on input of records not the output of records. So input of records means all records even though they are not considered due to where condition. So all records and this is the output. So peak function depends on output while previous function depends on input. That means when we will try to use peak function it will give you result based on whatever output we have. But in a previous it will depends on the original source data. Now what if uh, I am going to remove this one because we don't want to show 0 as the first row. Okay, that's fine. And now we can also use nested previous function. So that means I can also say previous previous sales means two times. And when I load this application, and I will say two day sales. So when I add this one, I will get row two rows back. So let's see here. The first one is always null, whether it's a single or it's a nested previous. Now for the fourth, because Saturday and Sunday is not part of this load anymore. So for the fourth of Monday, if we go one day back, that means we will get 130 and if we will go two days back, then we will get 40 here. Same way, we are getting 150 for 5th of July and 130 for two days back on 5th of July. We can also use another previous function here. So I have tried up to 9 to 10 previous nested, but I am not sure what is the limit in click. So you can try on your own and you can tell me if you found any limit of previous function, I mean nested previous function.
प्रीवियस फंक्शन इज लोडिंग डेटा फ्रॉम द प्रीवियस रो लेट मी रिमूव दिस वन बट प्रीवियस फंक्शन ऑलवेज डिपेंड्स ऑन योर ऑर्डर मीन्स योर लोड ऑर्डर सो से इन माई एक्सेल फाइल से आई हैव समथिंग ऑर्डर लाइक दिस आई एम गोइंग टू शिफ्ट दिस टेन रोज इयर आई विल सेव दिस एंड नाउ आई विल लोड दिस एप्लीकेशन and at the front end let's see how the result is coming right now the data is sorted by date it is not sorted by load order if you want to sort the data by load order then go to the sorting tab and select the date and instead of sorting automatically you have to sort manually by custom and remove all this sort by expression sort numerically sort uh, sort alphabetically if you remove everything and if you keep sorting as custom you will get result by sort order so now if you see here the sort order is same so here what i what we are getting let me also remove this one where close because because otherwise otherwise we will not get we can data and i'm loading this and now you can see here For eleventh, we are getting null because eleventh is the first row. For twelfth, we are getting previous row cells, which is eleventh of July, that is one thirty, uh, that is hundred. And for first of July, we are getting hundred and eighty. So if you go to here, first of July, you are getting previous day records. So it is one eighty. So according to the previous function, it is correct. But logically, if you are saying logically first of july should be the first date and you should not get any output means you should get null here because first of july is the first date so previous function will work based on the load order so in this case we have to manually give the load order as date how to do that can you do something like this order by date no because order by close is always working on previously loaded table this is a very common interview questions and many people are getting fail here because you cannot use order by close while loading the data from excel file or from any other outside data source order by close you can only use with the previously loaded table or previously loaded data so what we have to do here is i cannot use order by date here so i will do something like this i will say temp data here and i will see data and here i will see load star resident temp data and i will say order by date and here i will say drop table temp data and now instead of mentioning this two field here i will mention it here and when i load this we will get the correct output and now the load order we can remove and i can say load by numerically ascending order So now you can see we are getting the correct output. So for first, which is the first date, we are getting zero. And for eleventh, we are getting one ninety, which is a sales of tenth of July. One more thing, previous function will also work when you do the preceding load. So first, what I will do, I will make the data proper. i will save it so i don't have to do this resident load and here i will do something like this and and i will do preceding load i will say load star and these two columns or these two fields i will load as a 
preceding loop and still we are going to get the same result. So previous function is also working same inside the preceding loop. So hope you understand now how previous function is working. In next video we will see pick function. Till then thanks and have a good day.